This is the Tate Museum, high temple of British art and home of one of modern art's most prestigious awards. So this is room one of the Turner Prize exhibit. This is one of the finalists. There are four finalists. This one is a uh, Goshka Makuga. We asked art critic Matthew Collings to help us make sense of the shortlisted works. Not an easy thing to do. What's the purported theme or message or purpose of this exhibit? The purported message is completely mysterious. Should we have a look? And the curator's notes don't help. Each artist has a sort of wall label that tells you more or less what they do, but the words can't necessarily be said to be nonsense, but at the same time they don't actually say anything. Critics aren't convinced that this work has any lasting value, but collectors obviously disagree. At uh, quite a high level of the professional art world, she is taken seriously, and she must be taken seriously by the market. You can't possibly be in the Turner Prize if you haven't sold anything, if you haven't got a gallery, mm -hmm. and if, you, if your work isn't in some way some kind of successful product. Mm -hmm. So who am I to go around, you know, saying there's question marks over it? <laughs> this is, uh, I guess you'd call it an installation. It's by uh, Kathy Wilkes. I've uh, read about this one, yeah. Really? Yes. Uh, Maybe you can enlighten me. <laughs> to me, it looks like... Um, cliché art student, pseudo-feminist stuff from the 60s or 70s. Any art school would have it. And we see a lot of clichés, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, dummies, um, a nurse's hat on one of them, sort of signs of femininity, domesticity. We can work out for ourselves, oh, well, maybe women are oppressed and have to work in the kitchen and they're fed up with that. To me, that sounds banal, so I, I am seeing banality. But, I'm, but I want to believe that there's something more there, but I, I simply don't know where to go. Over the years, London has scratched its head over some of the winners, like the artist Mark Wallinger, who won last year with a movie of himself in a bear suit. Back in 1999, the star of the Turner Show was Tracy Emin's Unmade Bed, and it was the Turner Prize that launched Damien Hirst to mega wealth and stardom with his animals preserved in formaldehyde. Uh, we're coming to a room where one of three films by the artist Runa Islam is being shown. So the camera is tracking very slowly across the uh, Bangladeshi taxi drivers. She's hired them all to just stand there with their taxis. This is another film by the same artist where the camera makes inexplicable moves over some kind of um, light industrial surfaces. Uh, in fact, those inexplicable camera movements are a, a mechanically controlled camera, remote controlled, and it's tracing the word, the, the letters that make up the word cinematography. C-I-N-E-M-A-T-O, etc., etc. to the end of the word, so that at first, you don't know why your eye is being asked to rush around these surfaces. But when you find out, you still don't know why. <laughs> why is that so great? It's a puzzle, and one that leaves many spectators cold. We're now in a room full of objects and a couple of films by the artist Mark Leckie. Uh, it's, a is, slide show. it's a slideshow. Uh, it's, it's flickering, it's strange, we're not quite sure what we're seeing. We have to go from one thing to another and put them together in our mind. Uh, there's a poster that says Mark Leckie resident. It just seems to be a poster for a show he had. And uh, it's really interesting, but we've no idea what it is. And failing to get that idea makes us gradually lose interest. Collings isn't the only one to have lost interest. Newspapers have called the Turner Prize art a farce. And the former culture minister wrote in the visitor's book that it was cold, mechanical bull. And yet... I think the Turner Prize is a good institution, but what goes into it is not necessarily so substantial or fantastic. I mean, it's just got to take what comes. The Turner Prize is a kind of lightning conductor for discussion about art. It makes people talk about art. What can they do? Uh, you know, here's the building, it's fantastic. Here are the spaces, they're amazing. The prize money is good. You know, they're doing their best. 
the little students go to art school, their little heads are innocent, and then they're filled up with uh, fantastic ideas which their little heads can't possibly comprehend, and out comes this alienated bric-a-brac that we see in the shows. We've just got to go along with it. Then again, who knows? 20 years from now, this alienated bric-a-brac may be considered a modern classic.